the study game, Lessonware, winning in college. Transitions are a part of life. Grade school, middle school, high school, college, jobs, marriage, children, success, growth, learning, development, JV, varsity, national team. We're not in Kansas anymore. Transitions take time. College is a change. Transition equals change. Expect the unexpected. College is a process of discovery. Discovery of self. Each class offers a unique challenge. Be curious and explore even though you don't know what you want. Opportunity is all around you. Concerts, lectures, counseling, sports, study centers. Explore the town you live in. College is more than just classes. Discovery is a lifelong process. Supporting the Oak, example of studying and discovering, exploring beyond the books or academics. Life lessons can be learned in school, in sports, in jobs, in military, everywhere. More responsibility after high school. Put up or shut up. Know what's important. Know what's appropriate and when. Young sport professionals and military and college freshmen all have new adult responsibilities. Which college? Where to live? Which roommate? Changes mean adjustment. Very few choices are irreversible. Change it if you need to. Make a different choice. When the situation becomes too much, get help. Health professionals, tutors, professors, counseling, friends, coaches can all help you. Your attitude makes the difference. Know when to say when. Military, working, college are all choices you can make. Employers want evidence that you can see the job through. Reality. After high school, you will be treated like an adult. Complete freedom to sink or swim. Figure out what you want to do. Figure out why you chose college, military, or work. You can find your interest in college through the variety of classes. Two things from Chris Everett. Everyone is feeling this way, and I am prepared because of my practice. This world is filled with average people, Marva Collins. This is not a rehearsal for your life. This is it, Marva Collins again. What are you doing about your future now? Set goals. Mid, short, and long-range goals. Goal storming. Goals change. Goal storming. Write these out. What do you want? Personal qualities? Skills to learn? Relationships? Grade point average? Career path? Do not limit your goals. Goal justification. If you can't justify why the goal is important in writing, lose it. Is it your goal? Can you see yourself reaching it? Does it fit with your other goals? Will you have to compromise your integrity? How will you benefit? Will it bring you happiness? Build your self-esteem? Improve your health? Increase your emotional or financial security? Help your community? Eliminate goals that do not offer benefits. Set a time frame. Short, mid, or long range goals. Goals build on each other. That is, short turns into mid, turns into long range. In order to reach the long range goal, you may have to have a mid range goal and a short range goal. Clarify and identify the benefits, obstacles, resource needs, people who can help. Create an action plan and a timeline. Look at goals daily. Goals are a place to start versus an end. The person you become through goal attainment is the point. Goals change and this is okay. Time management. You have all the time there is. Some use time more efficiently and effectively. Have to do, want to do, need to do. You can have it all, you just can't have it all, all at once. Planning, priorities, organization, and follow through. Do one thing at a time. Pacing is important. Body clock knowledge. That is, know when you study and learn best with your biological clock and or your biorhythms. Make your plan work. Be diligent. It will pay off. Study on public transportation. Limit activities to one or two. What price are you willing to pay? Party now. Pay for it in your 30s. Work smart in your teens and in college. Build a life of successful habits. Courses. Choose classes based on interest 
versus what your friends are taking. Choose the best instructors. Get to know your teachers by asking questions. Get involved with your education. Don't miss class. If this is impossible, meet with your instructor. Never pretend to understand. Can you please go over that again? How do you learn best? Visually, orally, or hands-on? Note-taking combines all three. Most teachers telegraph what notes to take. In summary, this is important. Or they write the information on the board or repeat the information. Write notes like homework. That is, write your name, class you're in, the date, and write the notes in this fashion. Subjects of the notes you're taking have headings and subheadings. Computers. Computer literacy is important. You need to understand computers. Typed papers are the standard. Take a class in typing and computers. Get experience by being proactive. Computers are in libraries, bookstores, schools. Homework. Study daily. Study when concentration is at a peak. Study in several different places. Study in the well-lit room. Group study. Solo study. Teaching is the most effective way to learn. Work in short bursts. Know when you study best. Day, afternoon, or night. Memory devices make learning easier and fun. That is mnemonics, linking, stories, acronyms, flashcards, reading out loud, and reviewing after class. Singing in alphabetic order work too. Get help versus panic. Persistence cracks codes. When in doubt, get help. Reading. Skim chapters. Read the headings. Read thoroughly. Use learning devices. Ask right questions of the headings and subheadings. In other words, when you see the, the chapter title or the heading of that title, you can write a question mark right after the heading. For the subheadings, you can write you know, a question mark right after the subheading. And or you can read the paragraph and then write several questions about the paragraphs. That can form some of your notes. Read out loud. Review, challenge self, and be persistent. Self-discipline is the key. Put in the work even if it's boring, hard, etc. Sacrifice is synonymous with self-discipline. Other practical learning. Internships, co-ops, independent study, study abroad. Proposals for all will work. Theater, clubs, and athletics. Writing. Habits and skills you learn will help you write better. Learn to write by writing. What is the instructor looking for? If in doubt, ask to see an example. Be creative with your approach. Do good research. Break work into manageable parts. Plan your work and work your plan. Five part theme. Thesis statement. Three supporting paragraphs and conclusion. Organize your material. Outline mapping, or just start writing. Edit and rewrite are necessary. Find what works best for you. Leave a, very, a day to review your paper to clarify, edit, polish, etc. Cramming is exhausting and stressful. Writing is a process. Revise, read for content, read for grammar, read for style, and keep polishing till your writing is smooth. Study and learn from all papers you write and submit. You can learn to do most anything. Determination. College, perhaps, is a test of determination and character. You'll be tested your whole life. Self-discipline, self-determination, challenge, pursue excellence for your own self. Test study technique. Gather your material, review, break material into sections, schedule your time, plan your work, and work your plan. Start studying a week out. Frame of mind is important. Learn it now. Review later. Review. Class notes, book notes, papers and tests submitted, formulas, and practice examples. List key points on note cards. Study while waiting or riding bus or train. At least six hours of sleep before the test. Send your brain a message that you will do well. Regularly scheduled study. Cramming works for short time memory. Mentally prepared. Practice for real world. Deep breaths. Concentrate on what you do know. Jot down key facts. Formulas on back of test. 
Read carefully. Essay exams. Headings. Neatness counts. Erasable pens. Improves grades by about 20%. Eliminate wrong answers and use hunches for multiple choice you don't know the answer to. Pace self and check time. Look at subpar grades as a lesson learned. Talk to the teacher afterwards. Cheating is irresponsible and is cheating yourself. Responsibility is also being tested in college. Values. College teaches about self. Do well for self. College teaches you life skills. The study game. Winning in high school. The better your education, the more choices and chances. That is opportunity. One in five high school dropouts are unemployed. Why are you in high school? Identify why and justify your grades. Balance of school, sport, job, social life is important. Comparing self to others may create insecurities. Focus on what you do best. What qualities do you like about yourself? Write a one-page summary of good points and bad points. Focus on good points. No one can decide your self-worth except you. Strive for excellence. It's not what happens to you, it's the way we look at it. Everything can be fixed. You can learn anything. You can develop skills. You can become a leader. You've got it in you. Initiative. It starts with you. Goals and action plans. Make goals realistic. Set goals in all areas of your life. Be specific. Goals need a time frame. Write down all goals. Goal storming, why it's important. Is it your goal? What will you gain, benefit? Short, mid, long range goals. Action plan, timeline. You may fall short of goals. This is a learning effort and you should feel proud. Dreaming is important too. Mental training helps all other training. You can still turn things around. Go to class prepared. Sit in the front. Notes. Write so you can read. Big. Ideas. What's on board. Visually, orally, and hands-on are several ways of learning. Stretch yourself with progressively more difficult classes. Be smart about your choices. What will help you get a job? What will help you get into college? Try to get the best teachers by asking around. Participate in class. This is your education. Show an interest and make an effort. The time to start to develop your skills is now. What you do is important. Organization assists your success. Having a system is organization. Misplaced priorities distract you from success. Limit TV to about 2 hours per day. More than 20 hours per week of work is too much. Go over studies while taking shower, putting clothes on, waiting for bus, during waiting or downtime. Make the most of every minute. Think of homework as money or an investment into your career. Think of homework as life work. Excellence takes practice. The more you learn, the more you realize you don't know. Learning becomes addictive. Make sure lighting is well and no distractions when studying. Reference tools, that is almanac, dictionary, thesaurus, encyclopedias, calculators will all assist and enhance the internet. Teachers will help you if you ask. Put everything on hold when you study. Study demands total concentration. Studying when you are at your most alert and when concentration is at a peak. Work in short bursts. Take quick breaks when concentration breaks. Math is like life. Complex analytical problems take critical thinking. Learning devices, example, for planets. My very earnest mother just served us nine pickles. It's an example of a mnemonic code for all of the planets. The first letter of each one of those words I just uttered is one of the planets in order, starting from the sun. Rhymes and flashcards are other examples. Review after class and frequently, that is three to five times per week. Look at it another way. Ask a different teacher. Look on the internet. Study encyclopedias, study groups, and learning devices. Testing centers can identify dyslexia and other learning challenges. Readers are leaders. Readers can take you anywhere you want to go. History has value, as do biographies. Books open up your mind and let you see yourself like others or as others. 
Titles, subheadings, and captions are hints for important information when reading. The better things in life come with a price. If you think the cost of education is high, try ignorance. You're empowering your future. Ask for extra credit even if none is offered. All writing is a story. Find the story behind your topic. Storytelling is writing. Pick topics that interest you. Fresh ideas can be suggested and proposed to teachers. Where do you get the info? Books, interviews, libraries, internet, city, school, college libraries. Write down all source information. Break the work into steps. Research, outline, etc. Get started right away. Do a little bit every day. Focus on one particular idea. That is, thesis statement, five-part form. Thesis, three supports, and conclusion. There are lots of ways to be creative. Write papers as an interview, a dialogue, a newspaper editorial, or five-part form. Good writing is carefully planned. Different styles to begin. Outline, mapping, or just begin. Writing your own words. Credit every source you use. Learn to quote, footnote, and write a bibliography. Use your own ideas. Procrastination can create panic and stress. Writing is a process. Revise content, grammar, style until paper is smooth. Save papers and learn from them. With good writing skills, you can write your own ticket. Health and fitness affect learning. Exercise increases oxygen to the body to stimulate you. Get help if you need it. No matter how bad things get, things change and get better.